get my timer. Okay. So I can time you. We're back. Uh, sorry for the technical difficulties. Now I am sideways and I'm I'm you know, I'm right side up and I'm not standing on the side of the wall. Right. Back up a little bit more. Back up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. Look good. <laughs> so once again, uh, I am Elaine Waterman. I'm the executive peer director here at the Firehouse Art Center. We're a nonprofit art gallery located in the heart of the Creative District in downtown Lompoc, uh, right on the corner of Fourth and Cochran. Um, we are here for Second Friday and the exhibit opening for Flight of the Polychromatic Zoites, and um, by artist Jen Rose. Um, to start off, I just wanted to mention that in the spirit of healing, the firehouse acknowledges and honors the Arapaho tribe, the original people of the land upon which the firehouse sits. We also wish to acknowledge all other indigenous tribes and nations who call Colorado home. It is because of their sacrifices and hardships that we are able to be here sharing this art with you today, and the firehouse believes that we can only grow when we have a better appreciation of the history, legacy, and contribution that the tribes have made, not just to this region, but to the nation. So to start off our second Friday exhibit opening, I'm going to pass it along to Brandy Coons, the Firehouse Curator, and I'm going to head behind the camera. Okay, so we believe it's zoo. We've all been saying zooids, but I believe it's zooids. Zooids. Um, Thank you. 
expression or a, a relationship to the subconscious and the repetitive nature that is very therapeutic for creating multiples of similar objects. They each have a personality and um, I'm particularly drawn to the way that they cast shadows and really are highlighted against the gray walls in the space. They are for sale. Um, I believe they are $45 each and they're all handmade porcelain pieces. I want 10 of them. <laughs> um, they are very cool. They almost look like um, villi. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the wall itself sort of starts to feel like a creature that's reaching out. Um, another thing that uh, we discussed with Jen and are happily promoting in this space is that if you bring your own yoga mat, something to keep yourself clean from our, from our floor, you can actually lay down under the sculpture and really just meditate with it, um, which I think is a wonderful opportunity for the particular times that we're in. Um, I have to say that this is an exhibit that while it is great that we are offering um, a live stream walkthrough, uh, it is an exhibit that we encourage you to come see in person. Um, having been in the space for a couple of days with these zooids, um, the experience is very immersive and it's almost, um, I guess what I'd call aquatically ethereal uh, so it's definitely a cool experience that you have to uh, come in to get so we are going to check out some of the other colors as the work progresses and we are gonna head into our South Gallery do you have anything else to add, Brandy, about the exhibit? Um, I and really want to say as many times as possible a huge thank you to Jen Rose, the artist who created this, packaged it, and trusted us with taking charge of it and installing it um, from a distance. I'm sure that must have been nerve-wracking for her not to be able to be here um, because of COVID. So thank you, thank you, Jen. Uh, for that, and thank you to everyone who supports the firehouse in any way that allows us to do really fun things like this. Um, so, please come and see it. It is worth the visit. Um, and that, that's really it. It's like a bunch of thank yous for us that we get to do something like this here in Longmont. And I wanted to say thank you to the installation team. As you can see, this was definitely uh, a challenging exhibit to hang and uh, to see the multiple steps uh, that it took to bring the exhibit to life. Um, it was a lot of work. So thank you, Brandy, and to our whole installation team as well. That's Grace Gutierrez, Connor, Wayne, yeah, John Crossland as ladders. Yep, it was, it was a whole team. Okay. So we are ready and we are here in Studio C and I will pass it on to Grace Gutierrez to introduce our artist in residence.
really look natural, but if you look a little closer and think about where the steel comes from, it's extracted from our earth and um, you know it's been transformed into this process to become away from its natural original entity, but it is still what I would consider nature. So and these what are these? You said these are copper rods? Yes, so copper. these are um, welding rods actually, and they're copper coated. And welding rods are what usually goes in between steel plates if you're welding something together. So it's usually melted and works as an adhesion. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to set that next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Make sure you have the fire extinguisher ready. yeah if you guys are interested in coming and talking to Amy and seeing her process we highly recommend you coming and picking her brain and getting a preview of what's to come um, her exhibition opens in February mm -hmm. um, so that's something that we're all really looking forward to February 12th February 12th Yeah, I would love people to come in and visit if you have questions. Um, we also, our installation will be a psychology experiment as well. And we've got a little engagement board over here if you want to learn a little bit about Ginny's process of research and what you will be involved with when you come visit. Very cool. So this is probably not um, a project that, I know a lot of the residents, resident artists are sometimes hands-on kind of things that people can come in and participate in. This is probably not one of those. Oh yeah, no, you can't weld. <laughs> you can watch any weld. The you can come watch. Are not welders. But um, if you didn't catch it, we are gonna be posting Amy's workshop 
with cardboard construction um, on our YouTube channel. And uh, you can participate um, in creating art with Amy that way. So stay tuned, that'll be on our YouTube channel soon. And I'm just gonna do a quick walk around and check out some of the other forms. What? And uh, what Amy was talking about with Jenny's, uh, the data that she is gathering for her part of the uh, Nest Partnership. So, well, very cool. Thank you, Amy. Did you have, did anyone else have anything else to add about uh, residency in the South Gallery? Um, we? Can I talk about how the state has a vaccine sign up website and everyone should do it? <laughs> so we can all see each other in person. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we miss seeing people at the gallery. Um, hopefully we will be able to see more of you soon. What time is it? Are we almost to? Oh yeah, we're at 6.26. Okay, we have four minutes till we open. Thank you so much, Amy, for sharing that with us. That was Thank super cool. Thank you so much. Um, come see her. Amy and um, Jenny sometimes will be here at the gallery. Uh, Amy will be here on Fridays from 12 p.m to 5 p.m. and then Saturday is from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, on the other days, uh, Amy and Jenny will not be here, but you can come in and see the flight of the polychromatic zoids. And um, all you need to do is uh, make an appointment. And the easiest way to make an appointment is to go to our website at firehouseart.org and there is a form that you can fill out uh, to schedule a visit, uh, to schedule an appointment to come see the art anytime between 12 and 5 on Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday are the days that you need an appointment. Friday and Saturday are the days that you do not need an appointment and you can just walk in. And those are all between the hours of 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. So to end our second Friday opening uh, of Flight of the Polychromatic Zoids, um, I just wanted to say thank you again to our exhibitions team, our installation team, uh, Brandy Coons, our curator, and the installation team uh, who helped put up the exhibit, as well as our fantastic artist, Jen Rose, who I hope that um, our community will get a chance to meet uh, later on this month. Uh, but our team was Grace Gutierrez and our board president, Wayne Northcutt, helped in uh, assisting the team in finding where to actually put the holes. Um, and Connor Magyar and, um, and John Cross. So thank you guys for helping to install this wonderful exhibit by Jen Rose. And we also wanted to thank the Scientific and Cultural Facilities District, Longmont Community Foundation, the Community Foundation of Boulder, Boulder County Arts Alliance, Colorado Humanities, the Longmont Rotary, the City of Longmont, LDDA, and the Creative District of Longmont for all their support. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to be here at the Firehouse Art Center, uh, connecting our community to healing experiences with art through art exhibition, art education, and cultural events. So thank you guys for virtually visiting with us today for our second Friday opening. Um, we are gonna open the doors and hopefully we will see uh, some of you in the gallery soon. Thank you so much, guys.